Welcome to another day with Jesus. A daily devotional podcast to help you walk with Jesus, live for Jesus and represent Jesus. Now let us open our heart to receive as Pastor Preji shares from the heart of God. Good morning and greetings in Jesus name. I hope that you're ready for the day ahead. I hope you're excited to receive from the Lord. Every day that we encounter that we enter into irrespective of how difficult the previous day has been or challenging our time or season has been every day is made by Lord it is created by God it is a day that the Lord has made and if it is a day that the Lord has made we have all the reasons to believe that God is still in control of my today that God is still going to have the final say over my today the bible says in genesis chapter 41 and verse 9 that the king's chief cupbearer spoke up finally and he said today i have been reminded of my failure he told pharaoh who is the king's chief cupbearer This was the same guy who was in the prison with Joseph a while back. And this was the same guy who had promised to remember Joseph once he gets out of the prison. This was the same guy who got a favorable prophecy from Joseph which actually eventually came to pass and it turned out to be a blessing for him and a promotion for him. and now he gets to a place he remembers the fact that he did not keep his promises he remembers the fact that he didn't do what he was supposed to or expected to do he is now saying this to pharaoh saying today i am reminded of my failure let me ask you this friends how often have you been mistreated or forgotten or misrepresented or accused of doing something that you didn't do can i ask you to let the lord do your bidding when you let the lord fight for you when you let the lord make a way for you he is going to remind the people around you of their failures See when you try to remind them of their failures you are going to only make them bitter but when the lord reminds somebody of their failures now i know that it is very easy for us to expect this to happen in a relationship that is far and distant the relationship between a ex prisoner and a current government employee but sometimes it's much more harder to do the same thing in a married covenantal relationship are you willing to let go of the mistakes and the uh, wrong faults and the things that your spouse did or didn't do and let the lord be the one who will remind him or her of their failures of the fact that they didn't keep their end of the promises or that they didn't do their part of the covenant How about in a relationship between parents and children it may be very hard to forgive and let go of somebody who has promised to take care of you and be by your side are you willing to let go of the faults that your parents must have made in their effort to bring you up the mistakes or the intentional acts of uh hurting you that they must have done are you willing to let go of them and let the lord convict them see if you try to convict them like i told you it is only going to make them bitter and it is only going to make you miserable but will you let go of it will you forget and let the lord heal your heart in the process if you would do that the bible says the same way that this chief cup bearer how he was reminded not by a human being 
not just because of the circumstances that he was in but he was divinely reminded of his failure in the same way the people that have hurt you the people that have wronged you they will be reminded of their failure because the love that you carry towards them the love that you demonstrate towards them that love is more powerful than all the hurt and the bitterness and the and everything that you can do to uh, express your disapproval of that person but when you let the lord fight for you when you let the lord have the final say when you let the lord be the one to do what he wants to do about this particular relationship and about this particular person's hurt and betrayal towards you you will be able to wait and watch and see how god is going to turn around the tables how god will prepare a feast for you in the presence of your enemies now in this particular context joseph eventually became the boss of this cupbearer that forgot him that ignored him that did not remember him now that was god's plan if this guy would have brought him out years back joseph would forever be his slave and servant and be obligated to serve this guy but because it was not this guy who brought joseph out of the prison it was a divine remembrance that brought joseph out of the mess and the problem and the struggle that he was in he did not need to be submitted to this guy anymore he was not obligated to this guy anymore may god give you that level of freedom in your relationships in your conversations in all those places where you've been hurt or looked down upon where you've been accused wrongly or where you have been mistreated or where injustice has been done to you may the lord fight for you may the lord bring a divine remembrance for you wherever you've been looked down on that's a word of encouragement for you this morning i hope that you would embrace it and walk in forgiveness and love for the rest of the day ahead god bless you thank you for tuning in today we hope you are encouraged by today's podcast to know more about pastor preji or other resources you can avail or to receive help in any specific area connect with us at pastorpreji.com we wish you a christ filled day ahead